Hello everybody, I just wanted to come to you with a week one um, keto 30 day challenge update. Um, on the Facebook challenge, we did start um, a 30 day keto challenge on January 3rd, I believe it was, going to, no, the 4th of January, going to the 3rd of February. And that 30 day challenge is just to get, us out, get ourselves um, in the rhythm of doing this and saying no to refined sugars and carbs and things of that nature and to really, you know, take um, 2020 by the horns and really start to live a better life and whatever goals and reasons that we have are all our own. But I wanted to um, document my progress and seeing if it has any relatability um, to anybody else because this is keeping me actually accountable. Um, doing these types of videos and posting on the Keeping It Keto Facebook page, it really keeps me accountable that, you know, I'm gonna do the right thing, make the right decisions and things of that nature. So um, I just wanted to let you know how week one went and overall, pretty darn good. It went pretty darn good. Um, I prepared myself well and mentally, um, I decided probably, I wanna say before my birthday, that was in December, that I wanted to do this because I was feeling uncomfortable since my wedding, I, was eating bread, cookies, ice cream, everything I wanted to eat, everything over the years that I've restricted myself from eating, I ate. And it was good. It really was. So um, I wanted to really um, get myself back into it because I did keto um, last year and it really did work. I mean, it worked. And it was one of the few things that I found that really did work. So. Again, with this first week, this is actually then now day nine, technically, um, going into the second week. But I can say my first week, again, it went well. I didn't cheat. Now, I'm not going to say I didn't cheat. It wasn't hard. It is extremely hard. It is extremely hard um, to resist sugar and carbs and things of that nature. Um, and some of the things that I found on Instagram, they were saying that, you know, uh, sugar is as addictive as cocaine more so because it just lights up all of the reward systems of your brain. So um, not only that, when I'm out shopping and doing my Instacart gig and I see all the things that I like, I get triggered. It's like, da -da -da -da, my, my brain is just like, it's kind of like, I want it, but I know that I can't have that. Um, but the food I've been making has been pretty good. I'm pretty much um, a creature of habit. So it's not like I'm going out here and just not knowing what to do. I'm kind of like, I kind of keep a rhythm no matter what I'm eating. I like to switch it up, but I do keep a rhythm. So sometimes I would have these sugar cravings and I would just combat that by just having a little spoonful of peanut butter. That helps. It let me get it out. I mean, peanut butter is good. You have to watch your sugar and the carbs and, and how much sugar you're eating. Um, that's very important um, with the peanut butter because it does have that. So um, that's one thing. So that helped me combat that. I eat salad. Salad is a staple. You can't go wrong with a salad. And I like salad. You can get creative as you like to. Um, stay away from like the Frenches and the Catalinas, those things that have, you know, are higher in sugar. Um, I kind of like really stuck to ranch and, you know, nothing over the top. It was just week one, trying to get my feet wet in it all. Um, for my lunch and dinner for most of the week, I did a basic baked chicken. I made um, cheesy uh, cauliflower with shrimp. It was like mac and cheese with shrimp in it. It was really good. Um, and I made just like a can of mixed greens. I made some video about that or me cooking it, but I was like, uh, I don't feel like editing this. I mean, one day it'll see the light of day, but that's what I had. Um, and I put in a previous video where I went to Starbucks. I ordered a cold brew. Um, cold brew with, I prefer the cinnamon dolce sugar-free um, sweetener. They also have vanilla sugar-free and heavy cream. Heavy cream is that fat factor. Um, and they're bacon egg bites. So we go to Starbucks. I went to, in the video, I went to Chipotle at, for a late lunch dinner. 
that was pretty good um, this weekend. And I'll probably bring this up in the next time I do a review or, you know, a video that I, listen, I love crabs. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite food or guilty pleasure. Like, I was tearing some crabs up, okay? It has keto, okay? Not missing a beat. So, um, one of the things that come through when you um, do the keto or lifestyle, I should say, or keto, um, I don't want to call it a diet because like diets, they come and go, but you want to make it a lifestyle change so you don't even think about, you know, it. I did have keto flu and it was this time in the form of fatigue. Like I was going to bed at a decent hour, had to get up for work. I hate mornings. I hate getting up at five o'clock in the morning. It's like not natural. I swear it's not natural, but I got up. But the way I slept was hard and I take the train to work. So on the way back from work, I would just like take a little cat nap, but I was cat napping hard. Not that I was so such a deep sleep, but it just felt so like a brick wall of like your sleep. Cat napping, but I don't know how to describe it. Um, that and then like the last day I can remember of my keto flu, like my head was like spacey, slight little headache, nothing like over the top, but it just felt like foggy, as they say is one of the symptoms of uh, the keto flu. Um, so that was one of those things. It wasn't bad. It didn't discourage me one way or another, but you know, it's over now, I gotta keep going. Like I said, them sugar cravings were real. We got through those. Um, like I said, I ate out, oh, oh, working out. So for many, many years, right, I have always worked out. I've had great years, bad years. You can see the work, all of that. And then here lately, especially since I met my husband who, of course, back in, 2015, 2016, when we first met, I was like killing it. Going, to, I was a school teacher, a substitute school teacher, and I had more than enough time on a daily basis to spend hours at the gym, five, six days a week. I was killing it. Um, but now, relationships be getting you. So um, that's what it was. So or what it is. So over the years, I've been working out. I've been doing Les Mills. Um, Zumba and things like that and over the past two years I've kind of revitalized my love of Zumba when I moved to um, Newcastle County Delaware and the group that I hang with like they're phenomenal I mean Zumba six seven years ago when I first did it is like how it is now it's totally different I mean like you really get your dance on so I so this week I really committed to getting into the gym um, I've always gone to the gym, but over the, I guess, since the holidays, maybe around Thanksgiving, I've kind of been like lax and lazy with it. Um, skipping, not going, saying I'm too tired, just want to hang out with my husband, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, no, if you're going to do this, Angela, you got to do it right. You got to get to working out. So, um, Monday, well, let me start with this. I went to my one gym membership at Planet Fitness, got on that elliptical, like did my thing, did some things that weren't classes, elliptical, treadmill, all the traditional stuff. Um, then on Monday, um, Monday night Zumba, where I go, um, Zumba be lit. I mean, I've been doing it for months with the, this inst particular instructor. So I know her, you know, her songs, or if I don't know a song, I know how Zumba works enough to kind of, you know, follow along and look like I've been dancing that routine forever. Um, so then, so then Thursday, I went to Zumba again, but this was a different instructor and she does more um, Afrobeat, Caribbean, um, like, my husband is Guyanese, like really more of that Afro African, just Afrobeat. I, I don't know how to describe it, but um, I enjoyed her class. But for me, because I've never been to her class and she writes her own stuff and it's more, a little bit more, um, again, Caribbean and Afrobeat based. There's a lot more hips and winding and all those types of things. Um, I was getting it, but I was more concentrating on making sure I got the moves right rather than enjoying the workout. So I'm gonna keep on going to the the class. So if you're in Newcastle County, Delaware, and we actually do know each other, 
um, we can definitely hit me up and uh, we can go out and do either Monday or Thursday Zumba. I mean, Zumba ain't show you. It'd be lit, I'm gonna tell you. So anyway, um, so going into week two, um, so far so good. I am really, you know, sticking to it. Um, uh, food this week, you know, so far my husband cooked and I'm glad he did. We had some cauliflower rice and um, I added that to the curry that he made with eggplant and uh, chicken. Oh, let me tell you, my husband can cook. You heard me, he can cook. Um, and it's so good and I put it with cauliflower rice and I gave it a second shot because we tried it a couple of years ago and it was nasty and I think because it was like I mean actual fresh cauliflower but it's probably been sitting out too long so when we ate it it was just nasty so last night I went to Giant and I bought frozen cauliflower rice and I put a little butter a little salt in there Yo, that's just banging so it wasn't that cauliflower rice is nasty we just bought the wrong one and we probably bought some stale one and everybody's like oh this cauliflower rice is amazing i'm like y'all eating nastiness but essentially it actually really is good um so going into week two i feel good tonight is my night zoom but although i am tired i am committed to go okay oh and um, I have some things I'm gonna share with you in another part of this video um, that I've been adding to my keto regimen and hopefully it'll help you. And I'll talk about some things and some fails of some products that I bought for the first week and kind of talk about maybe where I'm going um, with the rest of the week. So um, I would love for you to keep up with the journey. Don't be discouraged. I mean, I feel like, Ketos can be hard if you're so sugar dependent, and for a lot of us, we are. And I'm so glad that I started this journey with each and every one of you. Um, so I feel good. I feel like I want to take selfies again, like, and then I got this hair. <laughs> so I'm feeling myself, and I think when your body and what you put in it is right, you feel right. And I'm gonna keep up with that as long as I can because there's some awesome, awesome things that I have coming in 2020. You know, awesome things that I wanna share. I'm gonna say, if you're feeling discouraged about this, keep going. Be conscious of what you're putting in your body. Even if, oh, for whatever reason you have kids, somebody in your household not participating, the temptations there you get in, Keep in mind how much sugar you're eating, how much carbs you're eating, because keto may not be for you, but you might do a low carb. Or, you know, watch how much you're putting in your body, but I'm telling you, keto works. From my own personal experience, keto works, keep doing it. So I guess I'm gonna come back, and I have a couple products that were hits and misses um, from my haul the other week, so um, stay tuned for that. Okay, everybody, before I end this video, I just wanted to um, alert you on a few products that I used this week um, on uh, the Keto Challenge. So, um, some of the things I bought last week, but I forgot to display them, or I was waiting to see how I felt when using some of these things or trying some of these things. So, um, without further ado, all right, now I thought these. Because avocados, they tend to turn, if you don't open them in um, a good time frame, they go bad. So I said, oh, what's fun? They're frozen, they'll last. And when I, you know, eat them, they'll be good. And let me tell you, these do not taste good. There's some weird taste. I don't even want to call it the af aftertaste. It's just a weird taste to it. And when they thawed out, the texture was like a little off. So these were nasty. Um, I think the only person that ate them was my husband because he's not a little bit of waste. So that's why they're almost gone if you know, he's been eating them. But I would never buy these again. Thankfully, um, I did not buy two like I was going to, thinking, oh, this would be a great idea, and I don't want them to be gone because this would be a great keto idea. Da, da, da. They nasty, they can stay in the store. Okay. The next thing I have is 
um, some almond flour. So you can use almond flour here. I got this one from Walmart. Um, if you're going to make any type of keto um, bread or some something that calls for this, this is a great shower replacement. This is a great flour replacement. Um, so um, this is a staple for me. Sometimes, I think last time I did buy some coconut flour, um, but I use this more or less, but the coconut flour is a, also another staple. So if you wanna get coconut flour because you like that better, um, then you can do that too. So another thing that I didn't buy it, my husband bought it, but then, uh, well, another thing that we bought, which was good, is macadamia nuts, okay? And here is, the label for macadamia nuts. If you can read that. The great thing about macadamia nuts is that they are high in fat. Good fats, it's a nut. 23 grams. Four carbs, three dietary. That means it's one net carb out of a serving size, which is one fourth of a cup. So I would say, oh, this is great. You know, I do like macadamia and cookies, but, uh, they're good, but they are expensive. We got, well, he got these from John. They were $11.99, but if you have an Aldi, they are $8.99. Still expensive nuts, but nonetheless, if you have a trail mix, nut habit, that is an expensive habit, so. Um, also, I wanted to have a little, I tried to make chocolate milk with unsweetened almond milk. So this is a good um, source here. Um, that you can do and then I put cocoa powder in it trying to think hey I can make some type of chocolate milk but guess what cocoa powder is um, bitter and then I put some of the sweetener in it and it was mm, it would fail for me I put some peanut butter in it to break up that bitterness but it was still like the aftertaste was from the cocoa powder was like um, or so it didn't work out too well so that's that and then at Aldi my husband decides to pick up some go figure macadamia nut milk he said he liked it I haven't tried it I might try a sip after this here to take but that's a good choice for milk nut milk six grams of fat Another thing that I found in research, um, and I've seen it around, heard about it, was um, MCT oil. I got this from Amazon. And um, it's supposed to um, help <laughs> uh, in, within the process. Now, don't quote me because I'm not sure of all the science. So I'll look up a YouTube video about it. And when I find more information about it, I, I will definitely reach out. It stands for medium chain triglycerides. And it's very healthy. It is basically a coconut oil um, that you can use. But you have to be careful with this oil because it will give you the bulk goods. And you'll need to find a bathroom. So when I first tried it, I made sure that I, I put a little bit so I wouldn't upset my tummy. So be careful with this one, but it's going to be good. Do more research on it. I can't really break it down. I got some of these. These are some of the androgynous ketones. So to put those more in the system so we can get into ketosis and do that well. So that's that. Now, you can do keto without these things. I just got them to be extra special since I've done this before and see how it works. I don't know really how it works right now because we're only nine days in to the keto challenge. So there we have it. There is my release for that. So yep, that's what I have. Um, everything else is good, but the miss, the flop, was those avocados. Those things were disgusting get you a real avocado from the store that you can pick up and peel and cut yourself. Welch's nonsense is nasty and tea. Nasty. So, all right, that's all I have. Until the next time, until we do coming up this week. I was supposed to go to Zumba tonight, but I had some other things to take care of, so I didn't go, but I'll be going on Thursday. You should be tell about that. Until the next time, um, since I post this video to YouTube, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share. 
um, this with your friends. We're all on a journey. 2020 is the new era. So let's get it. All right. Till next time. Peace.